All right. Well, I got that all bucked up. I took down another popple sitting right here. I laid it down right here. And I got that loaded up. This one is, uh, I'm going to try to get it right over top, right on the top of this dirt pile here. Right there. Pretty much straight up and down. It does have a snake to it a little bit. And she leans a little bit that way, so I don't think I'll have to wedge it, but I'll bring one with just in case. Let's see how it goes here. There was enough weight on top to get it to go. I left about a left about an inch of a hinge on here. Just a small uh, notch in the front there, just so I can drive that in case I had to drive the wedge in to tip it. But she hit the mark. Okay, here's the next one. Got it a slightly in that way. We got that branch extended out about 20 degrees from the main stem. So we got weight going that way. I should be able to just follow this one without wedging it over. Now this one here has got, I'm gonna sink a wedge in it, make a back cut and get a wedge in it. And then I'll make my face cut. We'll do this one first though. Same spot.
and lay it down right there. I'm taking several popples down over here and took that clump of birch right there and that yielded me I got a trailer for the third birch and rest popple and the smaller branches in the back of the truck Put water on top of that uh, that burn pile from this mud hole here, so she's just smoldering now. All right, we'll see ya.